A guest who is beyond impressive. She's a big wave surfer who set a Guinness World Record for 2018 in 2018 for the largest wave Whoa. ever surfed by Whoa. a woman. Two years later, well, she shattered her own record. Mastered a wave of 73 and a half feet. Yeah, that is unthinkable. Wow. And now she's turned that courage, strength, and resilience into a story for young children in her new book, Maya and the Beast. Please welcome big wave surfer and author Maya Gabera. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Ooh. All right, so if you can take us back to your love of surfing, when did it start? When did it begin for you? Oh, I was 13. I got introduced by a boyfriend in my school and all my friends, and they were fully addicted to surfing, so I was going to the beach with them all the time, and I sat on the sand, and that just felt like you know, the wrong thing to do because they were having so much fun in the water and there I was just hanging out and getting a tan and that was not for me. So, but also, you know, 14 year old boys and 13 year old boys, they don't want to take a go and teach them how to surf. So I had to find myself a surf school in my, in my oh. local beach and that's how I learned. And then after I joined them in the lineup. Uh, no, and you, you beat them probably. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and now I surf bigger ways than that. Yeah, of course you do. And look, to, to that point, you didn't, I mean, you have this respect and world renowned in a lot of ways now but initially and even uh, maybe even a decade ago you didn't get that respect and you had that near-death experience I think it's fair to call it in 2013 to where some criticized you for not being prepared whereas a guy who would have done that he said wow he's so brave uh, how far along has that come with respect of, of women in the sport now a lot yeah. you know I mean you wouldn't see that happen today yeah. I'm sure of it um, and you know also it was a different time. I mean, the society allowed men to like say things that now mm -hmm. we understand they're wrong. Um, it's a very male dominated sport, obviously. And like you said, bravery for a long time. And now maybe it's switching, but still we got to be aware of it. Bravery is v a very big quality if attached to a man. Mm -hmm. But for a woman, you know, people will rather put that to the side and criticize. They'll say it's risky, risky <laughs> yes, instead exactly. of brave, right? Why are you there? You know, it's too risky. You may die. Whether you know, for man, it becomes this um, comparison, th this this good, you know, um, good thing to have, which is to be brave and to go out and and do the unthinkable and push the limits. And when women do that, I feel like. Um, society feels like they have to protect them. Mm -hmm. well. <laughs> and, you're, and, and, you're, and, you're, and you're changing the narrative and you're doing it targeting young children so that they can see, and young girls I'm sure especially, that courage uh, is something to be celebrated. So tell us about your book yeah. and why you wanted to write it and who you wanted to reach. Ooh, I want to reach all kids, you know. I mean four to eight years old is the idea, um, but I think it can go older. Um, I was walking in the middle of the pandemic in one of the forests that I walk a lot with my dogs around my home in Nazareth, Portugal, and the first thing that came to my mind was the title, and I thought, you know, what a better time to do it now <laughs> in the middle of this crazy world. I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> so I might as well just sit and accomplish some goals that, you know, maybe I wouldn't have time if I was so focused on surfing and big wave surfing. And um, it was a wonderful experience. I mean, it was very challenging to put my emotions and the challenges I've been through and the lessons I wanted to come, ac come across to kids in their language and how like to simplify everything but still make it an impact and, and come across to them with the messages of resilience, of finding your passion, of he listening to your inner voice, um, which I bring it here with the shell interaction. Uh, she speaks to Maya, but that's actually Maya listening to her own uh, inner voice and, and trying to work on her confidence and putting all the outside noise to the side because the truth is a lot of times people don't think we're capable or don't see what we're aiming for and the dream is inside and that's what we have to grasp to because it's not going to be easy. <laughs> well, my, it is beyond impressive what you do out there in the Thank water. You. It is absolutely incredible and just you walk in here and light the place up. You have this huge warmth, this smile and a warmth about you that is, it doesn't look, I don't know if you're smiling like that out in the 73 foot wave, but <laughs> it's, Definitely not. It's, it's great to see you in studio. Maya, thank you for being here. And the book, Maya and the Beast, is out tomorrow. It is such a pleasure to have you here. Thank, thank you. you for coming in.
there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.